up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today, we're gonna start out trying to make a recycled craft. We've been opening quite a few surprise capsule toys lately, and we would love to find a way to recycle them. In the comments, many of you said to use them to make chairs. I picked up these plastic glasses at Target, cut off the stem and base, take one half of a capsule, I find the center, and we're gonna make a hole a little over to the side. I am using my hot glue gun to melt a hole that can fit the stem. Cut a circle of recycled cardboard, make sure it can fit inside the capsule, then cover it with felt and fabric, then glue it into the capsule to make a simple chair and we can choose to paint the base if we like. It fits our dolls with no problem, so yay! Now we have a new chair for the dollhouse. Speaking of the dollhouse, from Zuru Mini Brands Mini Fashion, here is their dream wardrobe. I bought this on Amazon for $29.99, and I just gotta know if it's the right scale for our 1-6 scale dolls like Barbie and other fashion dolls. It says it has a real light up mirror. We can store and display our mini fashion collection. There are sweet scented accessories. Personally, I don't need my toys to have any kind of smell, but that's just me. There is an exclusive mini fashion bag and 15 pieces. If we turn it around to the back, there is a picture of all items included. So let's open it up and have a look. Assembly is required. It comes with instructions and they have pictures to help us follow along. It has cardstock backing, so there are some opportunities to customize here. There are two pink inserts with a mini fashion print. It is on both sides. It looks like the closet is made of two large plastic pieces with gold trimmed mirrors that have a protective film. There are six paper packages. Let's go ahead and open them up. Ah, uh, oh, this is a piece of furniture or a drawer and some gold colored attachments. In the next bag, we have some accessories. There's a gold lamp with a white lampshade a gold colored vase with pink scented flowers. They do have a smell and it reminds me of something from the 80s. There was a toy. I don't know if it was Strawberry Shortcake or Rainbow Bright or My Little Pony, but it's giving me so many memories. There's a small mirror that we have to assemble and remove the protective film. It's a mirror sticker, so it's a little wobbly. In the next bag, we find gold furniture legs, I think, and black hangers. Thank you. There's a mini fashion logo in the center and they even have little notches. And in this bag, we have a pink plastic cushion and a head. This will be great for displaying hats and wigs if you have them. Here we have a brown and gold mini fashion trunk that can open. In the last package, we have small plastic pieces that I assume are needed for assembly. And here is the exclusive mini fashion purse. In series two, we got this purse in pink. Now we have it in gold. However, the gold purse doesn't have that coating on the edges. Now that everything has been opened, we can start putting it together by adding the legs onto the bench and the desk with a working drawer. Add the backdrop behind the full length mirror. Secure it with those little plastic pieces. Open it up. Add a gold colored pole going across. Take the other larger plastic piece. Add three AAA batteries to the back. They are not included. Add the insert. Secure it with those plastic pieces. Add a gold pole. Attach the two sides, making a corner closet. Remove the protective film. Bring over the other furniture items and accessories. 
to complete the setup. And we can use our little capsule chair at the vanity. Well, it does sit a little low. The bench that is included does sit a little low as well with a Barbie. But now I need a rug. I picked up some washcloths from the dollar store. I dry brush a little pink paint in the center and just continue to build up. I use a little water to help blend it so it kind of just fades out from the center. Once dried, I glue it onto craft foam and trim off the excess to make a quick rug inspired by the Barbie Ruggable collaboration. It's not the same shade of pink, but we're gonna do it anyway. Now, is this wardrobe compatible with our 1 6 scale dolls? Standing at about 13 and a half inches tall, I'm gonna say yes. We've already noticed that the counters can be a little tall, but that's how they appear in the photo, so we're gonna go with it. And we're getting a very pink, very large closet with lots of storage for $29.99. For me, the closet door does stick a little when trying to open it, but I really like all the storage. And it says that there are working lights, and here they are, giving us a little glow at the vanity. In the pictures, they show this trunk right here in the closet. See? But I'm finding that we need to open the closet with the mirror to have a little more space to move it around. Let's place it up here. Actually, it's a little snug. And I'm afraid that I'm going to destroy the sticker that gives us the mini fashion logo. So I'm just gonna keep it at the bottom. Now we can fill all the shelves with mini fashion, handbags, and accessories allowing us to store and display our mini fashion collection. However, if you've been collecting mini fashion like I have, this is not large enough to hold everything. And I'm not great at opening and closing the closet without shaking everything. The drawers are also a little snug. And if I'm gonna be picky, I would have liked for the plastic to have been just a little thicker, but I'm still totally going to use this. Because it's pink, I like the design, and I can use it with my Barbies. And with this being the summer of Barbie, pretty much everything in my world right now is turning pink. We can totally display accessories from other brands, like Rainbow High. Here's a Rainbow High doll in this space. The vanity is a little high. Here's a Poppy Parker doll from Integrity Toys. Here is the doll we named Octavia from our Summer and Callie series. She is also an Integrity Toys doll. And here is G3 Cleo Denial from Monster High. But all I can see is Barbie. While I was on Amazon, I also picked up a Barbie closet. I don't know why that's upside down. This is an older closet. It was $19.99. I was interested in this one because it's just pink and white. However, it does have printed images on the back and one of the clothing racks are designed to fold up and fold down. The plastic shelves seem to be about the same thickness as the mini fashion. However, it does seem a little stronger. We do get black hangers. However, I don't love the circular rack, only because when it's time to close it up, you gotta push that down and then the hangers fall off. So I would have preferred two straight poles, but this one has a little lock and is portable. The pinks are a slightly different color, but the Barbie closet takes up less space if you are limited. And the back gives us a black and white wall. Overall, I like the mini fashion closet and I love that it's pink. Yeah, I said that, but I wouldn't mind seeing it next year in like maybe white. I think it has a great look. I love the working lights, the lamp, and that it allows us to store and display our minis. My Barbie dress can fit on the hanger and in the closet. And for the record, I would love to see more stuff like the lamp and other home decor items like the vase of flowers. Thank you for joining us while we checked out Mini Fashion Dream Wardrobe. Like, 
comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye.